Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Mythology. Last time we uh, showcased off the Sea Area FRS 2 with a 5v5 fight against some um, Yak 141 Forgers. So, or um, not Forgers, Freestyles, my bad. So now we will be turning the tables and we will be facing some British Sea Harriers as the Yak 141 Freestyles. Let me just cycle through here to, uh, do, do, do. there we go, and uh, we'll set up our standard uh, scenario here, and give the British or see here. Now, the, um, unfortunately, this will be the last showcase, as the game does not include any other Harrier variants, American or British, nor does it include uh, the Act 38 Forger. Now, the Yak-38 Forger was the predecessor of the Yak-141 Freestyle, produced by Yakolov. Uh, it was essentially a Soviet copy of the Harrier, designed to operate from the Soviet Navy's Kiev-class aircraft carrying heavy cruisers. Uh, they are designed to provide defense for the task force, as well as able to contribute, uh, or rather conduct, basic ground attack missions. And uh, most notably, they served in Afghanistan from the airfields there, where they had difficulty operating in the hot and high environments, and were limited to a very light bomb or rocket load. And uh, we're going to replace our Alamo with adders and jump into the mission here. So the Soviets wanted a, uh, a replacement that was going to be able to perform better. So they commissioned Yakolov, Yakolov to develop the Yak-141 freestyle. Now, this aircraft was going to use uh, a lift pad, which is basically the main difference, at least to my knowledge, is that the lift band lets them use a uh, more powerful engine with map. So the Yak-141 was found to have basically every performance metric would have been increased over the Forger. It would have been capable of supersonic performance, it would have been capable of using long-range AMs. Jack you know, the whole, um, Contact, the Contact, whole deal. High, high. And, uh, let's... They definitely got a good volley out. Get this guy off me! Missile launch! I'm taking a shot. Oh! We took a hit there. Get this guy off me! Oh! Missile and uh, you can see we're taking heavy losses there. Woo! Oh. Beautiful. We you can see we're a lot more durable than the air for whatever reason. There are at least the Marines here. here. And we are just racking up the losses here. We are down to our guns. But, um, as I was saying, the, um, Yakolov, uh, this project was commissioned at the end of the Cold War, so Yakolov, of course, ran into financial difficulties along with pretty much the rest of the Soviet Union, and, uh, they sought to work with, uh, Lockheed Martin to finish the fighter, and they worked on it for a little while, but, again, the money ran out. Oh, we lost two aimmen for the not the best deal, but... But, um, so Lockheed Martin tried to help them finish the fighter, but they ended up uh, folding anyways. But what came of this is Lockheed Martin acquired the lift hand technology, which today is used in the F-35B, Joint Strike Fighter. So, the technology lives on, and, uh, I will say, though, the F-35B is a world apart from the Act 141 just about every way. So, that is the uh, very brief but sad story of the Yak-141. And with that, that also concludes uh, this very short series of Quick Mission Showcases. Uh, next time we'll be doing this one oddly lonely training mission. I think they must have uh, missed a few somewhere. Um, 
but no matter. I don't think we're missing much there. We'll do the one, and then we will move. We will be done with the USNF 97 portion of this game, and we will move on to the ATF portion of this game. So look forward to that. Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for next time, and we'll see you then.